Hey, all right, welcome back. So, uh, you know, I'm often unprepared for the show because I consume, consume, consume news and then I text myself things I want to say and pepper Nico and Jess with a million articles and things that I want to talk about and then all of a sudden it just all comes flying out of my mouth when I get on here. Um, I look down and say, who's the next guest? And they said, you. So, hello, you. Hey, how are you? It's me and you. Every so often I go out and play golf by myself. Um, and this is because, you know, I'm bipolar and I have other mental issues. But uh, I play two balls, okay? And I mark one M for me. That's my ball. And then I mark the other one H for him. And that's my alter ego personality. And I play the two balls like two different characters and trash talk each other in my own head. So... Um, if I'm my own guest, this is uh, what goes on most of my life. I'm talking to myself, so it sounds wonderful. You may have seen the other day, um, and for those of you who watch Liquid Lunch all the time, the show, you know, a lot of people are coming up to me saying, hey, man, the show's getting good, you're doing fantastic, keep up the good work and all that other stuff. But to help the cause, I am fighting Facebook every single day. The last three Post. We do some good segments, and people see those segments on my show, and they I can see the YouTube. Some of them have 22 views, and then other ones have 6,000 views, okay? So then me, being a fledgling television producer, and I've been at the business of producing television for almost 20 years, but at the national level, I'm new. By the way, I'm hosting and producing, and my team is doing double duty and quarantine in my living room. Um, but we try to put some money like many other organizations do and boost the post to try to get to a wider audience. And uh, I got this on my desk. I'm going to keep pounding this. This is why Facebook won't let me promote my posts. This is it. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright. Yeah. Ads must not promote the sale or use of tobacco products and related paraphernalia. Okay, folks, I don't promote tobacco, okay? The only tobacco I promote is John Tobacco. And if you're going to ban me from promoting ads on your business because my name is Tobacco, that sounds like a load of turd to me. And we try to we try to like make it a little like make it a little nicer headline um, rejected. Rejected. The other day, okay? I for those of you who watch the show all the time, I lay into my producer, Nico, quite often, and he's a good foil, and he takes it from me because he understands it's part of the show, and it's a family show, and I love him like a son, okay? And he does work hard, not as hard as he thinks, but he does work hard, in fact. But I play it up, I beat up on him here and there, and, you know, I let it slip in during the commercials, and it kind of causes a little fodder, and people message me and say, hey, go easy on Nico, <laughs> you know, and then... Uh, if I go too hard, I know when I've gone too hard because I start getting overloaded with emails from the Housewives of New Jersey, um, who are all Nico's friends, apparently. Um, but no, we, we were joking around a lot, and I hit him hard, and I think it's funny. He doesn't, um, but we find common ground on it. We're making television, that's the main thing, and we're doing good, okay? And we're doing damn good, by the way, might I add, even though we're fighting Facebook. So the other day... I try. I was busting chops on my production team that I want to do segments outside because I'm in my living room here, but I'm on the ocean. Some of you know, but it's beautiful, sunny day. Let's do it. And, uh, you know, it wasn't working. And uh, even though I always try to force the issue, it just wasn't working. Um, and then I was determined to do it. In the last segment, I said, I don't care. I'm doing it. I went outside. I hijacked Jess from Nico when I was doing the last segment. And, you know, I'm outside in the backyard near my pool, which I wanted. That was the shot I wanted. Okay. And um, Nico's inside. So I thought I was in a safe zone. I thought I was in an autonomous zone where I was free. And um, I was blasting him, but of course he's hearing me even though I'm outside because he's monitoring the show for the most time, uh, most of the time. Uh, other times he and Jess are over there chatting and they forget to move the camera or something like that. But anyway, um, so I was talking about him and the kid chucks me, comes outside sneakily, okay, sneaks up on me while I'm talking and throws me in the pool. Okay, you know what? Fair is fair. I have fun at his expense sometimes and you want to know something? He caught me off guard, and he will pay a heavy price, 
at some time. And I know he doesn't like to get embarrassed like that. And, um, but I deserved it, too. So I could take it. I'm a good sport, you know. Um, I'm not a sore winner, and I'm not a sore loser. But it was so funny that I said to Jess, you know what, that was good television. After the show today, put a little video together of me ranking out Nico and let the people understand why he would do such a thing and potentially risk his employment by throwing his boss in the pool in a custom-tailored Italian suit, um, or at least the top half of a custom-tailored suit. Um, and we put a little video together. It was kind of funny, right? Some of you guys saw it. Some of my Facebook friends saw it. It's on our Instagram page if you want to check it out. He threw me in the pool mid-interview. Great. I said, you know what? That's funny. Let's title it conservative cable news host thrown in the pool by his producer, right? That doesn't sound Trumpian at all. There was no political statements being made in it. And I said, Jess, let's deploy $100 and see if a larger audience likes it. It's kind of funny. It shows the, it shows the perspective of the show is that we don't take ourselves too damn serious, okay? And um, that was rejected by Instagram also. So we're fighting a lot of things. I am, personally. I'm trying to get my message out there. But everyone who's watching me on Biz, thank you. Spread the word. Everyone on Facebook, share when you can. Comment, because that stuff means a lot. Sooner or later, I'm going to get off this Facebook. Hopefully, you'll join me. But uh, we're going to take a quick break right here. We're going to come back after this with uh, conservative commentator Michael Johns, founder of the Tea Party movement, right after this.